Hi everyone, it's Kara Wedby with Simply Magical Vacations by Kara. Coming to you today for our Friday News Live show. Plus, we're going to draw for our giveaway winner. And also, we're going to talk about this new deal that I teased on my page that Disney is offering for the week of Labor Day this year. It's a special fall package with special perks. So we're going to talk about that and see if any of you might be interested in that as well. So we're going to get started. And first things first, um, I'm wearing glasses today because um, I broke my contact lens last night. I have hard contacts and um, I had taken them out because my allergies were really bugging me and my eyes were watering. And so I put them on a table and then I forgot they were there and set my phone on top of one of them and it broke in half. I called this morning to try to get an emergency appointment at the eye doctor and they don't have anything available until Wednesday. So I've asked to be on a list to see if they have any cancellations, but until, um, until I go on Wednesday, I can't get any more contacts or order anymore. And then it could take a while after that. So <laughs> Who knows how long I'll be in glasses, but at least I have some. So, first things first, I went to a training, as you all know, on Wednesday, and it was for GoGo -Go Vacations, which is just for travel agents, and it allows us to book a whole bunch of a variety of vendors and travel brands for our clients without having to go to all the individual websites of those people. We can just go through this one thing and um, book it that way. So that's what GoGo -Go is. So we got to meet all the vendors. They got to tell us about their product. We got to, you know, figure out uh, which things would be best for our clients. So it was really fun. I enjoyed it. And we stayed at the Embassy Suites. I Hilton in DFW North, so I highly recommend it. They're remodeling the whole place right now, and um, I am also able to book hotels for you guys across the country, all different brands, so really let me know if you need that, but we got a bunch of goodie bags and gifts and brochures and contact information from all these different people, and of course, our GoGo -Go team. Um, will take care of us when I need to go and book something for you guys. So just let me know what you'd like to try and uh, we can take care of that for you. One of those places being Disneyland Paris. So I can definitely book Disneyland Paris this way. So let me know if uh, that's something you would like to do. Okay, moving on to the news. And there is quite a bit. I mean, I did a double feature last week of news that I missed for the two weeks previous, but this week has a lot of news just for one week, and it's because of the release of the 2019 packages, which if you haven't seen that video, it's on my page. You can read all about what's in them, what's not. But they added some stuff at our training yesterday, so I want to talk to you about that as well. So let's get going. First of all, it's a Disneyland Paris announcement because, like I just said, I can book that for you now through GoGo. -Go. Um, we can also book uh, vacations on the front and back end of a Disney vacation or a cruise, um, no matter which cruise line it is. So if you're wanting like a couple of days at the beach before and a couple of days somewhere else after, or if you're wanting transportation um, from the hotel to the cruise ship and the terminal and then back and whatever, um, Disney allows us to do that through their bookings, but the GoGo -Go thing is uh, a lot more easy to work with, and they can also do flights and stuff as well. So if you need information before and after a cruise, or if you need to book something before and after a Disney vacation, that's something that this will allow me to do as well. All right, so Disneyland Paris, Phantom Manor is reopening at Disneyland Paris um, in January now of 2019. It was supposed to open in the fall. Um, of 2018, so it was supposed to open this autumn, but they're not done, and the refurbishment is taking longer than they thought, so it's going to open now January of 2019 is what they're saying. That is the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland Paris, basically. Oh, this is so exciting. This happened while several of my clients has been in Disney World this week, so I contacted them all and told them to update the app, and I put that on my page here. If you have not updated your uh, My Disney Experience app, you need to. And here's why. They changed the layout of it this week, but they also added bus times from your resort to the parks or Disney Springs or the water park 
whatever you're getting a bus for. So, and for all the bus stops at your resort. So like if your resort is one like Old Key West or Port Orleans Riverside or Caribbean Beach that has multiple bus stops, it tells you from whatever bus stop you're closest to how long the wait is for that particular park bus. And then from, also it'll tell you the your estimated arrival time to that particular park or Disney Springs or the water park that you're wanting to go to once that bus picks you up. So that is awesome. I wish I had had something like that on our last trip and I'm glad it's gonna be there on our next one. So that is in your app, you go to your resort on your app, so you click into My Disney Experience, you log on, you go click on where it lists your uh, resort reservation, and then in there is where it says See Bus Times, and it has a picture of a little bus. So you click on the bus, and there it is. It's so cool, I'm so excited they finally did that. Yay. Um, now with the bus times, they also released a new version of the app, a new layout. So there's some different things across the bottom of the screen. It's just completely different. So just wanted to let you know, um, you need to update the app <laughs> and then mess around with it. But here is what it looks like for the bus times. Like I did Old Key West because that's my home resort. So if you were at Old Key West and you were at one of the different stops, this is what it would look like. So the next bus to Magic Kingdom arrives at such and such a time and the estimated arrival at the park is another time. Um, and this is for the South Point Road stop. So that's how it looks in your app. And I think it's so cool and I'm so excited that they have that in there. So please use it to your advantage. If you're there eating breakfast or you're still in bed or, or whatever and you want to know when the be next bus is coming, this is awesome. Definitely use it. All right. Then the way they change the layout, it looks like this. So there's a line of stuff across the bottom of the screen there. And um, it tells you what each thing is. The menu, the search button, add plans button, map, and home. So if you're wanting to see your account, you click on this menu button, which is like several lines there. And then it lists all your stuff, your resort reservation, your photo pass, memory maker stuff, um, dining plans, fast passes, all that kind of stuff is listed in a separate menu once you click on menu and your account. Um, the map obviously is the map of the park or wherever you're at, Disney Springs, water parks. And then search allows you to search the app for whatever it is you're looking for. And of course, it still has the turn by turn directions um, in the app. So if you're like there at a park, you can get turn by turn walking directions. It'll tell you if you need to get on a monorail, a bus or a boat or whatever to get to your location. So pretty cool. Definitely up, download the update to the app if you haven't already. And okay, so there are new Mickey ice cream bar headbands at the um, Disneyland and Walt Disney World Resorts now. They look like somebody took a bite out of the ice cream bar on one side and then it's got a pink bow in the middle. So that is the next millennial pink or rose gold ears apparently. They think they're going to be very popular and they've started putting them out in the Emporium at Disneyland. I don't know if they're at Walt Disney World yet. Somebody can tell me if you're there <laughs> and you see it. But um, that is interesting. The other thing the app allows you to do now, before I forget, is it allows you to add an annual pass or upgrade your tickets to an annual pass before you leave. So let's say that you weren't able to use all of your tickets or you know you're going to be back within a certain amount of time, definitely within the next year, and it would be cheaper for you to have an annual pass than it would be for you to buy another set of tickets for another trip, then now you can apply the cost of your current ticket that you have, and you have to have used one day of your tickets to do this, but you can apply the cost of your current ticket to an annual pass, to the cost of an annual pass, and you just pay the difference on the app now. Used to, you had to go to guest services to do this or the front desk of your hotel, so now you can do that on the app as well. Here is what the new menu, like once you click on menu, this is what it looks like. So there's my name, there's my character, Belle. Then it says shop merchandise, photos, mobile food orders, 
resort hotel tickets and passes. So if you're staying there, you click on your resort hotel button and that will get you the bus times. Mobile food orders is the mobile ordering program that uses your dining credits if you have a dining plan or a credit card if you don't. Tickets and passes will show your tickets and passes and how many days you have left on them. Photos is if you have Memory Maker or even if you don't, that's where your photos will appear once they're linked to a Magic Band. And then Shop Merchandise will take you to the Shop um, Disney Parks app so that you can shop for things that maybe you saw in a store and that you wanted, but they didn't have them at that store, but you want to see what other store in the parks may have it or whatever. And you can even have stuff shipped home instead of picking it up there. Um, so there are new sweet candy tiers coming to Bing Bong Sweet Stuff and Pixar Pier at Disney California Adventure Park. Pixar Pier opens the 23rd. Today's the 22nd. It opens tomorrow in Disneyland officially. Um, so Bing Bong is from the movie Inside Out, and they are not done with this yet, but there's going to be a candy shop based on Bing Bong, um, a sweet shop there in Pixar Pier. And so it's going to have lots of stuff like sweet candy tears. You can pick up saltwater taffy, rainbow cotton candy, other must-try sweets um, once that opens. Um, they also are going to have cake pops that are Pixar-themed because it's Pixar Pier. Um, and they're buddy cake pops, so like it's like Woody and Buzz. Or... Eh, cute. Um, and then they're also going to have character apples, obviously. Um, there's a rainbow unicorn apple and a bing bong apple. And then uh, the Granny Smith apples are dipped in caramel and chocolate and decorated with color sugar fondant and marshmallows um bing bong sweet stuff will also have an array of pixar themed popcorn lollipops and candies including lemon drops red licorice and sour apple balls saltwater taffy lovers can enjoy an assortment of flavors like strawberry and banana and beaches and cream Uh, rainbow cotton candy will also be available in flavors like blue, raspberry, and orange. Lastly, the shop will serve memory refreshers, which are frozen drinks that will come in all colors and flavors. One of the drinks is the rainbow unicorn with grape soda, blue raspberry, lime, cherry, lemon lime, and rainbow candies. Another one is inspired by Bing Bong himself. It's called Imaginary Pal, which will be made with pink lemonade, grape soda, and rainbow cotton candy topped with a marshmallow flower. And here's a picture of the new Pixar flavored popcorn that they will have in Bing Bong Sweet Shop on Pixar Pier in California Adventure at Disneyland. Um, I just had to show you this because today is the anniversary of Lady and the Tramp. If you did not know that, it's 63 years old today, Lady and the Tramp. I love that movie. Here is the newest Dooney and Burke Lady and the Tramp bag. I'm trying to get it to focus for you. But it's the characters from Lady and the Tramp here. There they are in the Dooney and Burke bag. Lady and Tramp and, oh, and the Hound Dog. I forget his name. They're all on there. So it's really cute. So if you like Lady and the Tramp, there are new Dooney and Burke Lady and the Tramp purses available for purchase. Um, okay, so let's talk about what is included in the dining plans. Now this is normal. This, the dining plan did not change from 2018 to 2019 and they did confirm that when we had our training on these new packages yesterday with Walt Disney World. Um, nothing changed. The package itself, the Magic Your Way tickets, like how everything works, nothing changed. But here's something that they wanted to, the way they wanted us to tell you. And that is, and this has been happening for a while now, but I think people don't realize this. So let me explain it to you. I wonder if I even have one of these boxes. Let me see if I have one. Just one second. Yes, I do. Okay. They want us to show you This is here's what your magic band box looks like when you get it. Okay. It's actually just a plain box. So if you're like wanting to um, give a Disney world trip as a surprise, then it's this that comes in the mail and no one will be the wiser as to what's in it. Okay. So when you open the box though, it's very obvious what's in it. Let your vacation begin. It has the castle on there, Walt Disney world. And then it's got this, this black thing in here that will have everyone's name on it. And then their magic band. 
Okay, and I blacked out the names, but it'll have your names on it, and then the magic bands will be around this thing um, next to each person's name. Okay, so you have to take this, once you uh, get your box, remove this. Take it out of the box, and here's why. On the back, it gives you directions on how to make your magic band smaller, if you need the kid size, which I do, and <laughs> it explains all that stuff. But look, this thing opens. And on the inside of it is where they put your um, magical extras card is what they call it. So if you've booked a Walt Disney World package with me and you are trying to get your magical extras discounts when you get to Walt Disney World, there's discounts on mini golf, on Splitsville, the bowling alley in Disney Springs, on different shopping places in Disney Springs, on different restaurants, um, water sports discounts if you want to do water sports from the Contemporary Resort. There are lots of discounts on that magical extras card for you to use while you're on vacation. And a lot of people don't even realize they have it. <laughs> Number one. Number two, they don't know what the discounts are. So it is a card now. It used to be a booklet. It's a card now. They do not mail it separately to you. They mail it with your Magic Band package, and it is inside this black thing that your Magic Bands come on. So um, also in the Magic Band box on this side, there's some instructions. Um, on this side, there's Magic Band information card right here, and you pull it out of there, and then you can um, get the information out. So you just, let me show you. You just lift up on this thing, and you pull it out. Okay, so make sure you check both sides when you get your Magic Band box that you check both sides because there's something in both sides and then make sure you take this out that has your Magic Bands wrapped around it and open up the middle because that is where your Magic Band, uh, Magical Extras discount card will be and you must have it with you to get your discounts when you're on vacation. They cannot just scan your Magic Band and give you the discount. You must have that card and now it appears in here. Um, also, they'll give you lug luggage tags and they usually they're in this side. So you'll get your complimentary luggage tags um, that'll be color coordinated to match whatever color magic band you got. And then on the inside of this thing, you will get your um, magical extras card. So for those discounts to apply, they wanted to, us to really stress this. You must have your magical extras card and this is what it comes in. It comes in your magic band box in that middle black thing that your magic bands are on. Hopefully I've made that crystal clear. <laughs> so that is where that is. Um, if you forget it. They will not give you another one. They do not have it for you at the front desk. You will not get your discounts. So you must get your magical extra discount card out of this box. Okay. Um, the other thing they wanted us to tell you about that is if you book really late, like if this is a last minute booking and you book within 10 days or less of your trip and you're not going to get magic bands in time, if the magic bands are going to be waiting for you at the front desk, then so will your magical extras discount card. Okay, so if you're booking really last minute, they will have it for you at the front desk with your magic bands. We still need to personalize your magic bands so that you can get your name and the color you want, but you won't have enough time for them to come in the mail. So all that stuff will be waiting for you at the front desk. Um, also in Disneyland, they no longer send packages in the mail of your tickets or anything else. All of that stuff is waiting at your front de at the front desk. The only thing they send in the mail is the voucher if you are getting a ride on. Um, one of the shuttles that goes from LAX to Anaheim. Okay, so magical band box has your magical extras card inside this thing that holds your magic bands. Please, please do not forget to get it out and take it with you. <laughs> you will miss out on those uh, discounts if you do. All right, made sure and told you that. As I did even more quotes, I noticed even more increases in prices on hotel rooms per night because when Disney updated our Disney travel agent website, they updated how you see things on the website and it used to be just you saw everything in a package like you put in what package you were looking for and what discount you were looking for and, and it would just appear as one number with all that stuff in the package. It doesn't that anymore it shows you the nightly room price and then you have to add everything on and then choose a package so it's kind of a hassle Disney if you're listening <laughs> but <laughs> it does allow me to see what the nightly room prices are and I can compare them from 2018 to 2019 so as I've been doing quotes um, the prices have gone up significantly on rooms in 2019 
already. I mean, even at the, towards the beginning of the year. So it's definitely a major difference between 2018 and 2019 on room prices. Just be aware. Um, so if you're looking at that package thinking, oh, this is going to be, you know, roughly this amount, it's probably going to be a lot higher than you thought. And it's not because the dining plan went up. The dining plan stayed the same price wise. It's not because tickets have gone up because those went up in February and they didn't go up again since then. It's the room prices. So just fair warning on that. Um, also part of these packages this year, it, this started in 2018, but now we've added the Four Seasons Resort in Orlando to the packages I can book for you, Walt Disney World Gateway Hotel packages, um, the Flamingo Crossing Area packages, like the Staybridge Suites there and the, and the, um, the Marriott one, Fairway, Fairbridge, Fair, I'm blanking on the name, it starts with Fair, <laughs> the Marriott there, and then um, they also are allowing us to continue to book Disney Springs Resort Hotels as packages um, through the end of 2019 now, so um, they have added those all permanently with those perks of the 60 Days Out Fast Passes uh, certificates and the bus transportation every 30 minutes to and from the resorts and the parks, and then also um, they now offer a quick service dining credit card that I can add to one of those off-property hotels for you, and they give you a discount on it. So the card itself has $40 on it a day for adults to use um, for their uh, quick service meals that day in the park, and then it has about, uh, I want to say, $20 for kids, somewhere around there. And so what they've done now is they've discounted it. So even though the credit on the card is $40, the adult only pays like roughly 35 ish. And then a kid pays roughly 15 or, you know, that's how much they're going to charge you for it. So they do give you a little bit of a discount if you book that package and add that quick service dining card and you can do it for one day all the way up to however many days of your stay. So it's convenient to have that and you get a little bit of a discount on it and you can use that to pay for quick service meals and snacks um, while you're in the parks instead of a dining plan, which they don't offer with off-property resorts. Okay. Next bit of news. Disneyland Paris recently started selling tickets for their nighttime event, Disney's Halloween Party. During this event on October 31st, so it's literally on Halloween, guests can fully enjoy the entertainment offerings that Halloween season brings to Disneyland Paris, including some special entertainment. Since Europe is not really into Halloween, Disneyland Paris is not so many places where there is a proper celebration. And that's why Disney's Halloween party is very popular. So if you're wanting tickets to that in Disneyland Paris, you got to get them quick. Um, tickets can be bought on the website for 69 euros or the equivalent of $79. Hotel guests pay 59 euros or the equivalent of 67 US dollars for a ticket. So if you're staying on one of their on-property hotels, you get a discount. There are also discounts for the three annual pass holders. Um, a ticket costs 58 euros or around 66 for if, if you have the Magic Flex annual pass, 55 euros or around $54 if you have the Magic Plus annual pass, and $48 or around $55 for the Infinity annual pass. There's spectacles, a parade, other special entertainment, character encounters. The party goes from 8.30 p.m. until 1 a.m. Paris time um, in Disneyland Paris. So. That is available now for booking. Uh, now in the DTEC locations in Disney Springs, in Tomorrowland, where you can um, personalize and design your own uh, phone case or your own magic band, they now have wall phone cases. So the phone cases the back of them look like one of the famous walls, the bubblegum wall, the purple wall, the blue wall, whatever wall you like at Walt Disney World, an Instagram wall, if you will. You can now make that the your phone case at a DTEC location. You can also make Soarin' Around the World's uh, magic bands at one of those locations. And um, I want to say there was another Epcot ride, Soarin' and something else. I can't remember the other one. So new magic bands and new... Um, Phone cases available now at the DTEC locations that you could personalize. Um, also released, if you are a Disney Visa card holder, you have a certain amount of time before these deals are released to the general public. So now through June 25th um, to start saving and booking in Disneyland. So it's 
You can save up to 15% on select rooms in July and up to 30% on select rooms in August and September for most Sunday through Thursday night stays at a Disneyland Resort hotel. You can book a stay with your Disney Visa card through June 25th before this offer opens to the general public. So you have a couple days left. Um, the Disneyland Hotel is offering premium room savings from July 1st to August 1st bookings and for August 5th to, through September 27th bookings. Um, the standard room savings are if you wait and book after um, after these early booking periods. So the card member advance booking period is from June 19th to June 25th. The general booking period is from June 26th to September 13th. And your travel dates must be July 1st through September 22nd or 27th, excuse me. Travel must be completed by September 28th. Um, the Disneyland Hotel is offering a 15% discount if you stay there July 1st through August 2nd and a 25% discount if you stay there August 5th through September 27th. All right, you guys have probably learned from watching me, uh, what does that mean? It means they book less rooms August through September, so they're offering a bigger discount. Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa is 15% off from July 1st through August 2nd and 30% off from August 5th through September 27th. And I have pictures of all these resorts on my page that you can search through my photos, uh, photo albums and see. Um, also, Disney's Paradise Pier Hotel is just a 10% discount across the board, um, no matter when you go. Now, the standard room savings, premium room means it's a better view, like it's a park view or a fireworks view or whatever. Um, standard room means you're looking at a parking lot, you know, where's the street, Harbor Boulevard, something like that. So standard room savings are 10% off for Disneyland Hotel and Grand Californian Hotel and Paradise Pier from July 1st through August 2nd. And if you stay August 5th through September 27th in a standard view room, you get 20% off your room at the Disneyland Hotel, 25% off at Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa, or 10% off again at Paradise Pier. So that goes through September 27th. So if you're wanting to book that, please let me know. We'll get it booked. It must be booked by September 13th. But I tell you what, the weather there is way better than the weather in Texas at that same time and way better than the weather, weather at Walt Disney World in Florida. And Pixar Pier is opening tomorrow. So if you're wanting to go and experience all that and um, not have to deal with as bad a weather as we have here, maybe go to Disneyland and you get a discount on your room. Okay, next bit of news. There's been a shakeup now at Pixar and Disney Animation. Um, John Lester used to be over both of those, but since he is leaving the company at the end of this year because of some indiscretions on his part, um, there is now going to be two new uh, CEOs or heads of these two different things. So Jennifer Lee is going to replace John Lasseter to head Pixar, and then, uh, I'm sorry, Pete Docter is going to lead Pixar, and Jennifer Lee is going to lead Disney Animation. So that is the new hires. There is a new Pixar chocolate mousse brownie in Disney World. It can be found at Roaring Fork, which is in um, the Wilderness Lodge Resort. And thank you to AJ from Disney Food Blog for this picture. It's so cute. And they say it's delicious. So we'll talk more about that in a minute. But if you're around the Wilderness Lodge or at the Magic Kingdom and want to take a boat over, that'd be something to try. This is interesting news. Fox has accepted a 71 million dollar Disney bid dealing a blow to Comcast this week. This happened on Wednesday, I believe. 20th Century Fox accepted a sweetened 71.3 billion dollar bid from Walt Disney Company for its entertainment assets outbidding Comcast Corporation in a battle for one of the media industry's biggest prizes. The bid from Walt Disney is a $38 a share price, which is about $10 a share higher than what Disney originally offered them in December and $3 above what Comcast bid was last week. The new agreement also offers more flexibility and other enhancements than the Comcast, Comcast offer Fox said on Wednesday. At stake is a trove of media properties ranging from The Simpsons to X-Men that may help fend off the threat from Netflix and other streaming upstarts. Both Disney and Comcast are looking to use the Fox assets to bolster their content and expand overseas. And as far as I understand it, Fox accepted it. So now the shareholders have to vote on it is the last step from what I understand. So Disney won. Are you shocked? I'm not shocked. They want Avengers and, you know, the Fantastic Four and all of these other Marvel properties that they don't currently have. So I'm not surprised at all that they went for it. Um, there is some new menu items that I wanted to tell you about at Kona Cafe, which is in um, the Polynesian Resort. It's on the second floor where Ohana is, just like down the hall from Ohana. It's all kind of 
open eating area. Ohana's like that too. You kind of just walk in. It's all pretty open. Um, so they have new appetizers. They have new pot stickers, pork and, pork and vegetable dumplings served with a soy ginger cream sauce, pickled vegetables, and chives for $9. Um, they also have sticky wings with mustard sauce, pickled vegetables, and chives for $10. They have a ginger soy chicken entree with roasted marbled potatoes, wilted sesame greens, pickled carrots, and a red wine sauce for $21. A pork belly noodle bowl, seared pork belly with rice noodles, bok choy, and a soft boiled soy egg with beef bone broth for $21. That looks really good, and I could make that allergy free, I am sure. And they also have a Kona coffee rub strip sirloin, New York strip steak with Japanese sweet potatoes, seasonal vegetables, and a miso glaze for $28. Now, that is not bad for a steak at Disney. So good price. Um, next bit of news. <laughs> okay. Okay, Yoda, calm down. So there is a new um, quick service restaurant that I've told you about before, but we didn't know the name of or anything else about. Well, we got that information this week. It is a new quick service restaurant that is coming to Planet Hollywood Observatory in Disney Springs. And it's also going to be um, affiliated with Guy Fieri, which their burger bar and their burgers on the menu inside of Planet Hollywood's table service restaurant um, are done by him. So now he is doing this quick service restaurant. It's called Chicken Guy. And here's the logo. <laughs> yep, that's the new logo for the quick service restaurant at... Hollywood Observatory called Chicken Guy. A brand new quick service dining location is being built for Disney Springs as part of Planet Hollywood Observatory, and its name is going to be Chicken Guy. I cannot make this up. <laughs> the restaurant will be brought to life by Rob Carl of Planet Hollywood fame and celebrity chef Guy Fieri. These two dynamic forces are joining together once again after their recent successful collaboration at the Planet Hollywood Observatory with the upcoming eatery. Chicken Guy, which is slated to be the flagship of a brand new concept that's being introduced by the two. There is no word on what kind of menu items the restaurant will feature, nor do we have an opening date. However, it is clear that the restaurant is currently hiring. More information about Chicken Guy as we know it. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, Disney has filed a patent for a magic surface that can become transparent with when triggered. Disney is filing a lot of patents, and probably they have something to do with Star Wars Galaxy's Edge or how you get to it, <laughs> but this is the newest one. Um, the next bit of news is about World of Color, which is a nighttime show at California Adventure in Disneyland in Pixar Pier. It's on the water there, um, and it's usually a water fountain type show, and they project things onto the fountains, like movies and things like that, and there's some fire elements involved, and it happens in front of the Pixar Pal Around Wheel. Um, we didn't get to see it while we were there, even though it was supposed to be reopened with Pixar Pier because something has broken. Disney is not being very specific about it, but apparently whatever it was was significant and it's going to take a lot of time to fix it. So um, it has been delayed indefinitely from coming back uh, for people to see. So if you were there this summer, you will not see World of Color. If you were there this fall, you probably won't see World of Color. We're hoping it comes back by Christmas. They do a seasonal show, like a Christmas type show for the holidays, uh, World of Color. So maybe it'll be back by then, but no one really knows for sure. It's just been delayed indefinitely until they fix it. Um, let's see. Here are all the new treats you can now get at all the new little snack places and restaurant locations in Pixar Pier. Um, and some of these are on my page, uh, pictures of them and what they serve. Adorable snowman frozen treats. Those pictures are on my page. Um, they serve an It's Lemon, which is the new lemon Dole Whip, which my daughter had. She's allergic to dairy, but these are non-dairy, and she loved it. It was delicious. So the It's Lemon is just the lemon Dole Whip and soft serve. And then it's snow-capped lemon means they dip it in white chocolate on top, but I hear that melts pretty fast and then it's not worth getting. And then there's a Pixar Pier Frosty Parfait, which there's a picture of. That's what she got. It looks like the Pixar ball. So it's a uh, lemon flavor and then it has blue raspberry um, soda in the or slushy kind of in the middle to be the blue line around the ball. And then it has a cherry on top. So that is the popular thing there. There's a long line anytime you go by it to get that. Um, Jack Jack Cookie Num Nums is going to have Jack Jack Cookie Num Nums and the Increda Cookie. Um, Poultry Palace is going to have the Jumbo Smoked Turkey Leg and a Chicken Drumstick Box. Senor Buzz Churros. 
<laughs> has churro flavors, one of which is a spicy Mexican churro flavor. Um, slightly annoyed dog at Angry Dogs and Angry Dogs served with hot fries is available at Angry Dogs, which features anger from inside out. Bing Bong Sweet Stuff, which is going to open later this year um, or maybe even end of the year, is going to have a Wally Cake Pop, an Eve Cake Pop, a Pixar Ball Caramel Apple, an Incredible Crispy Treat, Strawberry Cream Fudge, Orange Cream Fudge, Anger Cake Pop, Disgust Cake Pop, Sadness Cake Pop, Joy Cake Pop, Fear Cake Pop, um, Unicorn Bark, Rainbow a Unicorn Apple, um, Grape Soda Cake Pop, and a Bing Bong Apple. So that's a lot of fun new snacks coming to Pixar Pier. Here's something that happened this week and got immediately refuted the next day by Lucasfilm. So I don't know what to tell you on this, but Collider had a story out this week that said that Solo, a Star Wars story, because it performed so poorly compared to the other Star Wars movies, it did not perform poorly compared to like movies in general, but compared to Star Wars movies, um, that Lucasfilm has decided to put plans for more Star Wars story spinoff movies on hold, instead opting to focus on the new Star Wars Episode Nine that comes out next December. There was an Obi-Wan Kenobi movie supposedly in production, also a Boba Fett movie. Um, and so they said that, this story said that Lucasfilm has put those on hold and they're gonna focus on the main trilogy movies. However, there was a story the next day from Lucasfilm that said that is a lie, that is not true. We have not put any of these on hold. They are still in production. So I don't know what to tell you on that one. It was quite a, a descriptive story <laughs> from Collider. So I don't know where they got their information, but Lucasfilm refuted it the next day. So there you go. Um, face scans are coming to Orlando International Airport, which is the airport you fly into if you're using Magical Express and going to Disney World. Um, Florida's busiest airport is becoming the first in the nation to require a face scan of passengers on all arriving and departing international flights, including U.S. citizens, according to officials. The expected announcement Thursday, which was yesterday, at Orlando International Airport alarmed some privacy advocates who say there are no formal rules in place for handling data gleaned from the scans, nor formal guidelines on what should happen if a passenger is wrongly prevented from boarding. So if you are going on an international flight from um, Orlando International Airport, or you are coming from the UK or somewhere else to Disney World, you will now have a face scan when you land. So just letting you know that. Other airports that do this are Las Vegas, Miami, New York, Washington. Um, and the Department of Homeland Security has biometric databases that has images of people who should be on the flights or not on the flights. Um, U.S. citizens, though this is important, U.S. citizens can opt out at these airports but the agency doesn't seem to be letting you know that that's a possibility. So if you are a U.S. citizen and you want to opt out of a face scan to an international airport or on an international flight, you have every right to do that. Not international citizens, but U.S. citizens. So there you go. That's coming new to Orlando International. All right, back to Disneyland Paris. Speaking of international, Disney Illuminations has been confirmed to be staying around through September 30th of this year. I'm sorry, September 30th. Yeah, they're wrong. I think it's September 30th of this year. That was a whole back and forth on Twitter. Um, more about the Comcast bid and the Disney bid for Fox, which was accepted according to 21st Century Fox reports this week. Yes, on uh, June 20th at 537 a.m. Pacific time, Fox agreed to Disney's superior offer and in a statement by Rupert Murdoch. All right, another patent was filed by Disney, which shows that they have figured out how to mimic a Star Wars style blaster firing in the daylight. Wonder where this might be used. <laughs> this patent would be useful for the characters in Galaxy's Edge to have for added immersion into the Star Wars themed land. Who knows how they're going to use it, if it's in a show or if it's part of those credits, galactic credits you can get on your My Disney Experience account when you're part of the story. Uh, if you maybe, I don't know, it seems to be characters that get to use the blasters. So, but they fire in the daylight and you can see them firing. Um, and here's what Disney wrote on the patent. In the entertainment industry, there are many settings or venues where it is desirable to provide entertainment in an outdoor setting or venue. Theme parks may have outdoor worlds in which parades and shows may be provided to entertain park guests. 
For example, there are many theatrical plays and shows where weapon-based battles or conflicts are repeated by actors or recreated by actors for a crowd, and in such settings, the actors may carry props that simulate historical weapons or guns, existing weapons, or even futuristic weapons. In some cases, the live theatrical performance is attempting to recreate a scene from a movie in which prop weapons are fired, resulting in explosions and flashes, in parentheses, muzzle flashes, of volumetric light that comes out of the prop weapon with each firing. <laughs> so that's what they filed with the patent. Who knows? That sounds fun. Okay, now to the deal. I'll put in my um, post description, and I've also kind of teased on my page, this is something they told us about in our training yesterday um, when they were training us on the new 2019 Walt Disney World packages. They also talked about this new offer for this year. It's 2018, Labor Day week. So the dates for this are September 3rd through 8th. So this is a package being sold together September 3rd through 8th. All right, listen up. Here is what you get if you book this package and obviously is very limited. So if you want to do it, you need to tell me quick. Um, you can kick off fall in the most exciting way with this incredible vacation package at Walt Disney World Resort. From September 3rd through 8th of 2018, you will enjoy a five-night stay at select Disney moderate, deluxe, or deluxe villa resort hotels, four-day Magic Your Way park tickets with park hopper option, and an itinerary of full of magic, including exclusive experiences just for guests with this package. So let me tell you what those exclusive experiences are. It's so exciting. I'm there this week, by the way. So if you want to go, we'll be at Disney World together. Okay, so your clients can kick off fall. The most exciting way. I already said all that. Okay, so um, we're allowed to book this up and through August 19th. So if you want to do this, I only have until August 19th to book it, but that's only based on availability. So since it's very limited, if the packet, the number of packages they have for this particular deal books before August 19th, then obviously you know, if there's none left, they're not going to book anymore. They're keeping this very limited. It's sort of like the Christmas deal they had last year where it was like four or five nights through Christmas and they gave you a Christmas gift on Christmas Day and you had like a special dining thing at Epcot one night and you had, a, you know, it's kind of like that. Okay, so here's what is included. On September 3rd, you arrive at your Disney Resort Hotel, whichever moderate, deluxe, or deluxe villa resort you chose as part of your package. On September 4th, you get an exclusive Welcome to Fall dinner at Epcot, inspired by Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. On September 5th, you get a nighttime journey aboard the Kilimanjaro Safaris and your own exclusive showing of Rivers of Light, the nighttime show at Animal Kingdom, um, after the park closes. September 6th, you get two hours of exclusive evening access to Toy Story Land at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Exclusive after the park closes, evening access to Toy Story Land at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Whoa. September 7th, you get tickets to Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party, and that's the one I'm going to. We would be at the same party. On September 8th, you depart your Disneyland Resort Hotel. For example, Pori Himple on prices for this, starting at $149 per person per night for a family of four, two adults with one junior, which would be a child ages 10 to 17, and one child ages three through nine can stay in a standard view room, so that means you're looking at the parking lot, <laughs> at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort and enjoy this offer for a total package price of $2,980. Okay, that is cheaper than anything I've quoted for any of the stuff for the whole rest of this year. So if you are wanting to go and you can go September 3rd through 8th, this is an awesome deal because those tickets alone to the to the not so scary Halloween party are way more than $149. I mean, that would be on a Friday night party, it's $85 a person September 7th for an adult and not much less than that for a kid. I want to say 80 for the kids. So that would be just a good enough value in of itself. You get those tickets for free. You get four day park hoppers with this deal. You get an exclusive dinner at Epcot that's part of this deal that lets you sample different stuff from the Food and Wine Festival is what it looks like to me. You get an exclusive 
time at Animal Kingdom on a nighttime safari that only you and your group of people in this package get to go on. And then afterwards, you get your own private showing of Rivers of Light at Animal Kingdom after the park closes. On Wednesday, you get two, or Thursday, whatever this is, you get two hours alone exclusively with only the people who have booked this package after the park closes at Hollywood Studios in Toy Story Land to ride the rides without a wait. I mean, this is a really good deal. And then on Friday night, you get to go to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party with me. And your tickets are included in that $2,980 sample price <laughs> of a family of four, two adults, one kid aged 10 to 17, one child ages three to nine at Caribbean Beach in a standard view room. So that is not a bad deal. Now, for this one, I have to call. I can't book it online. So in order to do it, I would have to call and get you prices, and then you would have to let me know which resort you wanted, and then we would book it for you. So that is how it's working. Um, and again, we have to book it by August 19th or else, you know, until it's no longer available. But that is a really good deal. And you cannot combine it with any other offer. Like currently during that time, there are some... Uh, free dining offers and also some uh, room discounted offers. So you cannot get that. And notice this does not have a dining plan with that package. So it's up to you on whether or not you would add a dining plan um, to that deal. So that is what it is, but it does include that dinner at Epcot. So if you wanted to pay out of pocket for your other meals, you could. Um, it cannot be combined with any other discount. Advanced reservations required. Offer excludes three bedroom grand villas at the deluxe villa resorts. Um, so let me know if you would like to take advantage of this. This is a really cool offer. I'm going to be there that week. So we'll, we would be there together. <laughs> so if you decide you want to go, um, just let me know. And I will call and get you some prices for the different resort options and for your specific family. And then we can get it booked for you. So that's pretty cool. Um, here is what the Magical Extras cards include. Remember we talked about this earlier in the video that it's inside this black thing that your magic bands come on in your magic band box. You must have the card to get these discounts, but here's what they include. Miniature golf vouchers, um, admission to ESPN Wide World of Sports vouchers, Sammy Duval water sports discounts, Splitsville luxury lanes discounts and Disney Springs. Um, places to eat would be Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company. There's some discounts. Planet Hollywood Observatory, Wolfgang Puck Express in Disney Springs, um, Edward Biner Eyewear, which is new, um, Filthy Rich discount in Disney Springs, Volcom discount in Disney Springs. Um, Disney Resort Hotel guests will continue to receive your Magical Extra Savings Card and vouchers with your Magic Bands in 2019. If you have not gotten My Disney Experience, you have not uh, done anything with your Magic Bands, which if you're going through me, I will do that for you. Um, or you book 10 days or less from arrival, then they will be given to you when you check in at your hotel. You must pre present a valid Magical Extras card and voucher for admission to miniature golf or ESPN Wide World of Sports. Disney's Beach Club Resort, this is something new with 2019 packages, which these things appeared slowly. As I started doing quotes, I started noticing more of these new room things. Um, but at Disney's Beach Club Resort, there is a new deluxe room type that will sleep six guests. So what it is, is it's two queen beds and a queen sleeper sofa. So normally those rooms sleep five and they have like a fold down couch that's like a twin size bed. So there are select rooms now at Disney's Beach Club Resort where if you have a party of six, we can sleep six in this new deluxe room type. So again, it has two queen beds plus a queen pull-out sleeper sofa. And that's his beach club. Dizzy's Wilderness Lodge has a new view type, which I noticed this as I was quoting these the other day. It's called Nature Fireworks View. So you get a view over the trees of the fireworks of the Magic Kingdom with that view. Um, let's see. That's the same. <laughs> So the way these Magic Your Way tickets come when you book a package for 2019, um, you must use that ticket on or before December 31st of 2019, even though the ticket will, will expire on December 31st. If you have started your use on December 31st, you have 14 days after that date to finish using your tickets. So even if you use them on that last day of the year, you know, if you booked a New Year's trip or something, then your tickets would still work up to 14 days after that because that's how they all work. As soon as you activate them, you have 14 days to use the rest of them. Um, <laughs> uh, they've been saying this for a while, and this is true. 
when you book a package and you book your tickets in advance with me, you get a $20 discount from what they would be if you like booked them at the ticket window when you get there. Just so you know. Um, and it says, please remind your clients that Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is opening in fall of 2019. I don't think y'all need a reminder. I think everybody knows. <laughs> We're just waiting for a date and they did not have that for us yet. Um, let's see. Swan and Dolphin hotels are still available to book. Spring Hill Suites at Flamingo Crossing. Oh, and the Town Place uh, Hotel at Flamingo Crossing is now available for me to book online as well. Uh, Four Seasons, Disney Springs Hotels. Okay, so booking a package instead of a room-only reservation helps facilitate online modifications, such as adding tickets or choosing a dining plan at a later time. So, like, don't book just room-only. Book a package. It's easier to modify it. Um, if you're comparing a package with a room-only reservation and tickets, there is a variety of magical extras discounts that you can be used during your stay. As well as other exclusive benefits if you get a package. Just so you know. Travel protection is now available for me to book online with your package. Woohoo! I don't have to call separately anymore. And here's what it includes. Trip cancellation, trip interruption coverage, trip delay coverage, baggage loss coverage, bag delay coverage, emergency medical expense coverage, emergency evacuation, repatriations, travel accidents, rental car damage. So um, what you need to know about that is it's $77.50 per adult in the room, and it must be paid with your deposit. So your deposit is $200 uh, per reservation. And so if you added on, if you had two adults in the room and you added on travel insurance, you would pay $355 as your deposit because it would be $200 deposit plus $155 bucks for your travel insurance. I always get it just for protection. <laughs> I mean, just for my peace of mind. It's not required. It's optional, but I always get it. Um, let's see. Yeah, that, that deal I just told you about, September 3rd through 8th, is only bookable over the phone for me. So I've got to call that in for you to get prices on it. Number of packages is limited for that, as I said before. And then it tells all the things that are in it. Okay. Um, Disney Photo Pass photographers are now available at the water parks, Blizzard Beach and Typhoon Lagoon, until September 3rd. So for this whole incredible summer uh, thing that they've got going on. You can get your picture taken. Use your magic band. The link it to your... Uh, photos. All right. The, oh, that Toy Story moose that I showed you at Wilderness Lodge's Roaring, Roaring Fork, which is their quick one of their quick services, um, is five ninety nine. It is a chocolate moose with vanilla. It's called the Luxo Junior Ball. It is a soft white chocolate shell with vanilla mousse below and hardened chocolate in the middle, and apparently is delicious. Over to Universal Studios, Orlando. Um, Halloween Horror Nights has announced another house. When the credits roll, heads roll. Get the full details about the newly announced Slaughter Cinema House, as well as tickets for Halloween Horror Nights 28. So this one is also going with that 80s theme they're having this year, which everybody is really digging. So we'll see how that goes uh, in practice. Special offerings are going to be available at Magic Kingdom on June 23rd. 24th, pay attention, this weekend to celebrate the 55th anniversary of Walt Disney World's Enchanted Tiki Room attraction, including a new collectible Funko Pop, theme park exclusive set, and a special dessert. The special dessert has what looks like fruit Fruit Loops on it? Okay, so the Funko Pop theme park exclusive set will be released on Saturday, June 23rd at select retail locations at Walt Disney World Resort and the Disneyland Resort, including Plaza del Sol Caribe Bazaar at the Magic Kingdom Park. The set features the long-lost Barker Bird, a nod to the attraction's early days, and Pele. Guests can also celebrate the attraction anniversary with a special dessert available June 23rd and 24th at Sunshine Tree Terrace, which is also where you can get the citrus swirl dessert, a fluffy donut topped with strawberry sauce, orange soft serve, and fruity cereal. Just this weekend. <laughs> so they have uh, plush little characters, Pixar characters, that you can win at the um, Pixar Pier 
locations at California Adventure, um, the the boardwalk games, basically. If you play the games that you can win, little Pixar stuffed animals, they're cute. <laughs> Jack Jack, cookie num num. Cookie num num. Oh, that senior buzz churro I was telling you about is a caliente churro with a spicy kick to launch you into hyperspace. The other churro is a cinnamon sugar galaxy churro that's out of this world. The Lamplight Lounge also has reopened there on Pixar Pier, serving up playfully presented California casual gastropub cuisine and unique signature cocktails. This new hot lounge is located at the entrance of Pixar Pier and is a stylish, fun place to hang out with the whole family. With yummy appetizers like the crispy piggy wings, bigger bites like ratatouille, and warm, fluffy donuts for dessert, you definitely will not be leaving hungry. They also still have the lobster nachos. And there's apparently a secret dining room being built there. I'm not sure who it's for that only that only can hold 13 people at a time called the office in the Lamplight Lounge. So that's cool. Um, so apparently in the France Pavilion at Epcot, they have to, as they're building the Ratatouille ride, they have to build an extra walkway behind the buildings that are currently there so that you can get to the entrance of the Ratatouille ride. So in that area, there they have... Uh, the rumor is there's going to be a make your own crepe location. And that may even open towards the end of this year. So since I'm going to be there, I'll let you know <laughs> if they open it or not. Um, they think the Ratatouille ride is up until late 2019. So we'll see on that. But um, it's interesting because they're going to try and open stuff on the way to the ride before like a year before the ride opens. So that's interesting. But I would love any kind of other food that they could put in France. Everything they have there is delicious. So if they add something like that, that would be fun. Um, let's see. All right. So if you're going to be in Disneyland this summer at the Pixar Pier or the Pixar Fest, here are all of these special Pixar treats you can get. <laughs> There's a lot. And I put pictures of a lot of them up on my page but they're all themed in different Pixar movies. Even at the corn dog uh, castle on Pixar Pier, they have this angry dog corn dog. Um, it's based on, oh, actually, is it Incredibles corn dog? It's one that's based on somebody who changes. So it may be Incredibles, but it's like, it starts out tame. Then it has a spicier sausage in the middle. Then it has like cheese at the end. So it's got like three different flavors inside the hand dipped corn dog. So it's interesting. Here's yet a third page of snacks, Pixar related, and merchandise. All Pixar related at the new knickknack store on Pixar Pier. Really cute. Really cute stuff. Alien headband. The exchange uh, interchangeable bows for different Pixar characters. So really cute. <laughs> okay, this is hilarious. This is the Anger Dog stand. Angry Dogs in Paradise Pier. This is what it looks like. It's anger. And it says angry dogs in the fire on top of his head. <laughs> I think that's so cute. Okay. This was announced this morning. And I'm so excited because I'm going, like I said, to the September 7th Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, which if you want to book that deal we talked about. You'll be there at that party with me. Taking place select nights, August 7th through October 31st, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party will add a few new twists and treats to your evening. Ooh, I'm so excited about this. The Mad Tea Party will take you for a colorful ride as new lighting and effects give a new spin on the night. Depending on the color of your costume, you too could transform under the new dancing lights. On Pirates of the Caribbean, there will be new pirates that invade the experience, interacting with sailing guests who will join the search for Gunpowder Pete. Arg. <laughs> On Space Mountain, I'm so excited because only Disneyland up until now has had an overlay at Space Mountain. It's called Space Mountain Ghost Galaxy. Now Disney World's getting one for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So on Space Mountain... Explorers will hurtle through deep space as a new soundtrack and special effects transform the adventure. Can Space Mountain seriously get any better? 
Also new this year, Storybook Circus welcomes the Storybook Circus Disney Junior Jam, a dance party featuring some of your favorite Disney Junior characters, including Doc McStuffins, and that's for the little ones at the D Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. That's a ton of cool stuff. There will also be, as normal, Dancing Ghost, the Headless Horseman, Mickey, Peter Pan, and many of your favorite characters in the themed parade. Then turn your eyes to the eerie lit castle to see the skies above come alive with a magical fireworks extravaganza and a spectacle that definitely goes bump in the night. That's my favorite fireworks show. I mean, it's awesome. Um, then the night comes alive with the return of the spellbind spellbinding Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular Castle Show. It's a stage show where the Sanderson sisters take stage fright to another level. And as you already know, there are plenty of sweets for all our trick-or-treaters, even allergy-friendly sweets. Um, I am so excited about this, you guys. I, I mean, I love the party anyway, but these enhancements are so cool. I cannot wait to try them. And the advantage of booking a uh, Mickey's Not So Scarily Halloween party ticket with me is that you get to ride the rides with like hardly any wait, very low wait times because they limit the number of people in the park. So definitely worth it if you've never done it. And if you have, you know why I like to go every year. It's just so much fun. Um, here are seven things that they want you to know that little ones will enjoy about Toy Story Land, which is opening June 30th in Hollywood Studios. There's one thing for certain about little kids. They love to play. And in Toy Story Land at Disney's Hollywood Studios, the bright colors over icons and encounters with pals from the Toy Story films will definitely make kiddos want to play big. Toy Story Land opens on June 30th and it's going to be super fun for preschool families. Here are seven can't miss tips for visiting Toy Story Land with little ones. Number one, play I Spy in this whimsical new land where you become an honorary toy in the middle of Andy's backyard. Look for Andy's footprints throughout the land or see how many beloved toys you can spot like oversized cranes, cooties, green army men, and tinker toys. Number two, little ones will love everything about alien swirling saucers with, with its swirls, flashing lights, out of this world tunes, and little green aliens. It's going to be a big draw for youngsters 32 inches or taller. Number three, when it's time to refuel, there are lots of yummy treats at Woody's Lunchbox. Be sure to try the raspberry or chocolate hazelnut lunchbox tarts, the s'more French toast sandwich, or the banana split yogurt parfait. Goodness gracious. Um, number four, a larger-than-life Woody welcomes guests into Toy Story Land lots of photos. Sometimes the simple things that are super cool for little ones go unnoticed by adults. And don't miss the larger-than-life characters of Buzz, Rex, and Jesse also inside the land. Number five, check out the new Carnival Box entrance to Toy Story Mania for a rootin' tootin' good time for the whole family. Here you can don a 3D glasses, man a spring action shooter, and complete a bunch of fun-filled Midway Carnival games. Number six, look for, hey Eileen, Look for favorite characters from the Disney Pixar Toy Story films, including Sheriff Woody, Buzz Lightyear, and Jesse, the yodeling cowgirl. Number seven, make it your mission to find the Green Army Drum Corps, which will march through the land several times a day, and the Green Army Patrol, who will play Sarge Says and other interactive games with you. How much fun. There's lots more fun in store at Toy Story Land families with little ones beginning June 30th. So... Alien Swirling Saucers has a height requirement of 32 inches, but that covers most little kids. Um, then Slinky Dog Coaster is 38 inches for the height requirement, just like Seven Dwarfs Mine Train in the Magic Kingdom. And then Toy Story Mania has no height requirement. So that's the three rides in the land. And then, of course, you have character meet and greets. You can see the toy soldiers marching through the land, all these other fun things I mentioned. So definitely it's going to be exciting. I can't wait to see it. And it has now been put on your My Disney Experience app. So if you're there, you can click on the app and see the new Toy Story Land. There it is. Let me just try to get it closer. See? There. See it? That's Slinky Dog. It's huge. Get my finger in the right place. Right there, that big red thing that goes all through the land, that's how long Slinky Dog is. It's pretty long. And this thing down here is the Alien Swirling Saucers ride right there. And then you got the Woody's Lunchbox. And then over here is Toy Story Midway Media. Pretty awesome. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go. And there's the big Woody welcoming you into the land. There he is. So, yay. And my final bit of news today, another cruise line I can book, Norwegian Cruise Line. In addition to offering 
free, uh, like five different free offers that you can choose from. And if you book a balcony room, you can choose all five. Um, and those offers are free unlimited open bar, free shore excursions, free security or specialty dining, free Wi-Fi, and free friends and family sell free. They have now introduced today $1 deposits. That's right. For a limited time only, you can book a Norwegian Cruise Line cruise for $1. Not bad. <laughs> so let me know if you're interested in that. I've also been getting my degrees in their university. So I'm a Royal Caribbean bachelor degree girl now, and I'm working on uh, my master's there and Norwegian Cruise Line. I'm also working on my degrees there. So all right, that is all the news. So guess what it's time for? It's time to draw the winner of our giveaway. Yay! Just a reminder. Yes, Eileen, there's a street dance party, but it's going to be at the um, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. Um, it's going to be uh, in the Storybook Circus land. All right. Remember, you're going to get, the winner gets this Elsa see-through waterproof plastic backpack to take it to the parks with you or to the beach or the pool or whatever you like. It has a zipper pocket on the front there. You're also going to get two brand new maps to the Disneyland parks, Disneyland and California Adventure Park. And then you're also going to get the Chippendale button, Critter Character Breakfast button, and the Plaza Inn Minnie Mouse Character Breakfast button. And I have actually put all the names of the people who entered, which I don't know if you can see it, but they're in there. Um, all the names are in there, and I'm going to shake it up. The way to enter was to like and share this video, or actually the giveaway video. So we had several entries this time. I'm very excited. So let's see who's going to win. Oh, yeah, the dollar. That's a dollar deposit for a Norwegian cruise right now. Pretty awesome, right? The deposit's usually a lot more than that. <laughs> okay, oh, crud, I've got two names. Okay, I'll try again. The winner is, oh, how awesome. I just won from them. It's Lori and Dava, David, Mermaid and Jedi Adventures. You are our winners. Congratulations, Lori and David. You have won. Yay. So, and it's our Canadian friend, right? So you're going to have to give me your Canadian address so I can send it up there to you. But congratulations, Lori and David from Mermaid and Jedi Adventures. And thanks so much for watching today and for enduring my explanation of all the new packages and the new deal for September 3rd through 8th of this year. If you want to go um, to that fall package deal, let me know. Or if you want some pricing quoted for you. Um, also, remember to get out your magical extras card from inside your magic band holder when it comes in the mail to you you must have that card to get your magical extras discounts so definitely remember that all right talk to you guys later